Okay, so criticism from Tyler here says, number one, banging a bunch of women at a time to find the golden goose. I explained that earlier. It's called spinning plates. I didn't say bang them all. Uh, in fact, I would encourage you not to bang them all. Um, if you're a man of means and have options, like you're spoiled for choice, you don't have time to be banging eight women you know, that you're dating or something like that. It's, it's, it's too much work. It's a headache. Um, and you know, like at the end of the day, why? Like, What's the point? You should only be dealing with women on an intimate basis that have strong, genuine, burning desire for you, as I describe in the chapter of my book. So again, this is somebody that's tip of the iceberg, but they haven't gone beneath the surface to look at the other details that I expand on. And again, this will all be explained in a nice, organized way in the School of Unplugging. And if you're on the email list down over here, guys, you'll get first notification when that launches. Again, it's going to be June 1st. Number two, he says, this creates more terrible women to deal with for the other men, adding unnecessary notch counts who are already undes undesirable women, leaving alpha widows in the wakes. Bullshit, again. And here's the other thing too. This assumes that women have no agency and no accountability. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Men are the gatekeepers to a relationship. Men decide when the relationship happens. Women decide when intimacy happens. If she is a good girl, values um, masculinity, uh, had a good male role model growing up, a good father that set boundaries, she's not going to be laying with every man that she dates. She's going to have some standards. Um, so there's nothing wrong with that. And at the end of the day, guys, I mean, it, like if a woman's a virgin, you shouldn't be just taking her virginity. That's just like it's nonchalant. But, but if she's, look, there's like a vast spectrum of women out there, if we're being honest. There's the good girls, which are very, you know, rare and few in between. And then there's like the hoes, the 304s, which is the vast majority of Western women today, unfortunately, especially as they get older, they've all been promiscuous. I've said this before. All women have a skeleton or two in their closet. Some have a graveyard. Um, so this isn't men's fault. This is men indulging in what women are today. Toxic feminism has encouraged women to be promiscuous without impunity, impunity uh, since the advent of hormonal, hormonal birth control. Uh, promiscuity has escalated. Women wanted all of this. Uh, so a vast amount of the weight, a burden of this, if you will, rests solely on the shoulders of women. Uh, women decide when sex happens, not, not men. And then your third uh, point, which should be your remedy to the problem. So let's see if we got something here. Spin plates, don't bang them all. Uh, only date the ones who seem golden, uh, golden respectfully once you have presented, preselected all the 21 red flags. This will leave the ones you leave behind in a place where they can still respect the man and not be so jaded for the next guy. I love your work, brother. This is basically what all my work says, my friend. <laughs> You're not, tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg. This is what you get with the TLDR generation today, right? Too long, didn't read. Didn't want to watch the 90-minute podcast on the topic where he explains it all. So I watched a 27-second TikTok or a 32-second reel on Instagram. A soundbite somewhere, if you will. Or a little clip that somebody took out of context from a podcast interview that I did on somebody else's channel. Go down the rabbit hole. Go below the waterline and look at the entire iceberg for what it is. This is essentially what I say. Spin plates. Let the cream rise to the top. Choose women that choose you. Like if you're looking for a girlfriend or for wife material, choose women that choose you. And then you go from there, right? Like you vet them along the way with the 21 red flags. Like why do you think I put that chapter in the book? Why do you think I give the chapter away for free to get you guys to the point where you understand what good versus bad looks like? There's nowhere in the book where I just say indiscriminately fuck everything that moves. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.